Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here in Lakeland, Florida at Circle B Reserve. This is an amazing place filled with alligators and birds. So if you're like an animal enthusiast, enthusiast, or uh, you like hiking, they have trails. This is an amazing place. It is on over 1,200 acres. There's so much to see, so much beauty, um, wonderful trees. One of my favorite things here is just seeing all the Spanish moss hanging from the trees. Uh, that, that always gets me. It, it feels a little like Savannah, Georgia. But we're gonna go walk around. We're gonna show you the trails. There's a lake and hopefully find some animals today and just show you guys why you should come down and check out Circle B Reserve. Also, there is a Discovery Zone, or Discovery Center rather, that uh, is great for kids to learn about the nature. You know, they can climb up in some, like a cool little tree house and, and just have a good time. So without further ado, let's go check this out. And like I had just said, the Spanish moss is just beautiful. I love this. It's got like a nice canopy feel and it's really, really quiet for the most part here. Um, this is a hidden gem of Lakeland and it's, it's so, it's so worth coming here. It's also free admission. You don't have to pay anything. I mean, you can donate, but you don't have to pay. So it's all free. So you can bring your whole family here and uh, just enjoy just some beautiful, beautiful Florida nature. Another cool thing that they have here is a picnic area with grills. So you can do a little grilling. There is six in total. And it is on a first come, first serve, uh, first come, first serve basis. I don't think anybody wanted to do any grilling today because every single one is open. Uh, but I'm guessing maybe, maybe when it gets a little warmer or on the busier times, you, you know, you're going to have to get here a little bit earlier. But I just think it's cool that you can come and, uh, and grill. And also another thing that can accommodate people, uh, it is wheel wheelchair accessible. Uh, I've seen multiple people here in scooters and wheelchairs because it's all like flat ground, as you can tell. So it's really easy to get around. So that's something that you don't have to worry about if uh, you know if that's something that you have to consider. Uh, so you can come down here uh, with your scooter and take pictures and enjoy the beautiful nature. And I was looking for some birds and some alligators, but I found the elusive Queen V. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> and they've got the bald eagle wingspan. That is huge. That is a huge wingspan. Now I wanna see, cause I've tried this before and I almost made it, but not really. Uh, see if my wingspan has grown at all to see if I'm even anywhere close to a bald eagle's wingspan. Wish me luck. Here we go. I don't, I don't know how close I'm gonna come. Tell me if I'm right in the, am I there? Pretty close. What? You're an eagle. Pretty close, I'm an eagle. <laughs> not a bald eagle, cause I'm not quite there. I, I guess I'm a, I'm a mini eagle. And you're not bald yet. And there's little squirrels <laughs> running out. And I'm not bald yet. <laughs> and I'm not bald yet, not yet. But hey, time has a funny way of doing things to you. Square. Squirrel. Sorry, I had a squirrel moment. Just amazing. Just to come down and see these trees. And I'm probably going to be talking a lot about these trees in this vlog, but it's just, it feels like you're in, or on like a different planet almost. Almost like uh, maybe out of Star Wars, maybe out of uh, Endor or something like that. Oh. But like, like I had said, it's very quiet. It's really relaxing. So you can just come, take a nice stroll, and just enjoy the sounds of nature. And probably, you know, a 10 year old me, I looked over at this tree right there. I would build a tree fort. I know I know some some people that are going to watch this vlog are going to feel what I'm throwing down there. That would be an awesome place for a little fort cuz it's really easy to get up. You just walk up that tree. Boom, you're in the fort. 
One thing that I actually wanted to know, and I just want to let you guys know, there is no fishing. It's a reserve, so there is absolutely no fishing here, even though you'll see the body of water and you'll be like, oh, that'd be great for fishing. But you can't. But you can't. So we're coming up on, uh, there's a whole bunch of trails here. We're not going to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not going to be able to cover them all today, unfortunately. Um, but we do want to bring you near the lake trek because that's where the alligators are going to potentially Ooh. be. Um, but yeah, th there's so many uh, trails around here. But we're going to stick. Let let's do the lake trek. Let's find some gators. Let's find some gators. Yeah. So we're on the lake trek trail as you can tell it's really really flat uh, everything's flat really accessible but i did want you guys to know that each trail is a different distance they have ones that are like 0.2 mile trek uh, another one's like a half a mile the one that we're on right now is 2.5 miles back to the center uh, a lot of times what we end up doing is going halfway and then coming back uh depending on the day depending on our energy but uh just keep that in mind make sure you're looking at how long the uh the hike is so maybe you don't overdo it if you're you know if you don't if you don't walk a lot you know you might not want to do the 2.5 right off maybe do the little ones so just a word of advice from drew so right here just so you guys know you can also see besides gators and birds they have wild boar and snakes, so you do need to be weary of that, but we are coming up on what they like to call Alligator Alley, and for good reason, because there, there's a lot of alligators around this area. So here we go. Oh, the lake. And this is a very large, large, large lake, man. Um, earlier I was talking about wanting to go fishing and you do i mean if you if you fish you see this lake and you know there's lots of fish in there oh my god a beautiful bird right here look at that guy You're pretty much guaranteed to see some form of wildlife here. So even if you don't end up seeing gators, you will definitely see some birds. Look at this little guy. He just popped his little head up. <laughs> Look at him. And he's gone. Wonder where he'll pop up next. So we were just told that up ahead, we're going to go see if they're still there, that uh, a woman said there's like, 10 gators and like the mother's tail is like in the walkway in the in the path so we're gonna go see if we can document obviously keep our our distance uh you know as much as possible um but i'm really excited because i can't wait if they're still there this is going to be awesome for you guys to check out this lake is so beautiful and i remember when we came during mating season all out on this lake, all you could see were gators. Like, so many. Folks up here. So we did finally see a gator, so that was cool. Hopefully we'll see a couple more. Um, that was probably about a good five foot gator. Um, man, I'm telling you, every time I see those, I know some people are concerned or worried and they're scared about gators. I respect gators and I think they're awesome creatures. I mean, they're super prehistoric, you know? They're, they're just prehistoric animals that we still have roaming around. So once again, I respect them and I also give them their distance for sure. So this is Lake Hancock. So you guys know the name of it. We are on Lake Hancock right here. You know, it gives you the, uh, all of the uh, info that you need. What's 
crazy. Are they serious? Is the average water depth in this lake two feet? If that's true, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I had no idea. I love this little... This little walkway out here so you can go, like, enjoy. Like, being, it almost feels like you're out onto the lake, you know? But, of course, the fisher, the, you know, like, I like the fish that I'm like, oh, it'd be great to go to the end and go fishing. But yeah, just... Just amazing. All the mangrove trees. Man. We have a raccoon. I've never seen a raccoon out here. This is pretty awesome. We have found a baby gator. Look at this baby gator. Oh my word. It's so cute. It really is cute. Look at the tail on that thing. Man, that's prehistoric. Wow. That is crazy. He's just, he's just hanging out. This baby gator, this is amazing. Look at this, it's just relaxing. It's not even, ha like, it's just hanging out. It's not even worried. Probably because it knows it has really, really, really sharp teeth. <laughs> so we're gonna get away from the baby gator right now. Super cool, super cool. We got birds fighting. We had some birds fighting right there. They were getting aggressive. <laughs> Maybe somebody didn't take out the trash. I don't know. And look at this beautiful bird. Just really, really calm, just relaxing. relaxing. They're just enjoying their day. Oh, oh, oh! I think just ate, just ate, uh, ate a fish. I think. But seriously, um, when you're taking these walks, if you come down here, take your time, walk a little slow, and look around because I actually almost missed that bird, um, and then I had to like look over. I'm like, oh, there's a bird. So just keep that in mind. Be real slow and uh and look around look around for the nature we got this guy over here oh yeah Let's see if you can get a fish maybe or maybe oh 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 going in going in to stock the fish Maybe it's a standoff. Who can stand stiller? Me or the bird? Oh. She's like, ah, I, don't, I don't want the, I don't want it. And we have another gator. That's a that's gonna be a good four footer over there. He's really relaxing. He is relaxing, you know, because it was a little cold this morning, to be honest. It was in, in the fifties. So now he's just sun basking. And now you guys can kind of understand why they call it Alligator Alley, because lots of gators around here. So cool. What I just noticed over here so I can show you guys, if you look on the outer banks, they'll have these little, like it obviously looks like something's come through that way. That's a gator leaving this lake 
to travel down over here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that that's their little highway. Got another little guy hanging over there. Beautiful, beautiful little area here. Just the sounds of the nature, all the birds and everything is just. It's so relaxing. Man, I almost missed this guy over here. Look at him. Stretching out his wings. And look at these two. They must be on a date. They're on a little date. Look at them. You guys are adorable. They are adorable. They're on a, they're on a little date. Look at them. They're so, they look so cute when they're swimming away. He's bobbing his head. He must be listening to some good tunes. And we got another gator. He was hidden back there. Look at those teeth. He's just hanging out, basking in the sun. That is huge. That's a big boy. Guys, we have a very tiny little gator, and I'm telling you, this is probably a foot and a half. I know you really can't tell. Yeah. Like, oh, didn't mean to scare him. There he goes. Look at him. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare him. So cute. But yeah, he was like a foot and a half, maybe. Well, actually, yeah, about a foot and a half. Probably 18 to maybe 20 inches. Cute little guy. So we're going to get another little guy. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Look at him. See if we can get a little closer. Look at this little guy. He's another tiny one. He's about probably about a foot and a half. Might look bigger on the screen, but look at him. So cute. I think it's because of the heat that it warmed up a little bit because it was it was like in the 50s this morning That's starting to warm up. So all of the the gators are basking like we're finding them all over the place now This is a little bit bigger. It's probably like a two-foot But they're starting to they're really starting to come out So all these birds apparently are at a meeting and we were not invited. I mean, they're just look they're, they're having a Having a meeting, I can't. I can't believe it. Did maybe you get the email? Lunch time, honey. Oh, that's oh, maybe they're having lunch, but we didn't get the email. You know what? I'm gonna have to talk to the head of the birds because uh, that's not right. <laughs> so I wish I could explain to you guys. Well, I can explain it to you, but I wish you could understand how big that gator is back there. We're we're talking a good seven footer. It's got to be. We have that one right there, and then we have another one sitting right over there. A little bit smaller, but still big. This is why you gotta, because this is off the trail. I mean, like, there's water in between us and these gators. So make sure you're looking, because I would have missed it. Wow. That is a big boy. Yikes. Yowza. I'm telling you, they're, they're starting to come out. There's like four, three or four huge gators over there. I'm going to see if I can get a better angle from them. This is a little bit better of an angle. Look at these gargantuan gators. Holy schmoles is all I got to say. So yeah, you're, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to see a gator if you come down. So I really, if you're, if you're interested in seeing gators in the wild, I highly, highly recommend coming here. All right, so we're walking up. We think we see a tail in the pathway. I'm going to uh, walk up very, very slowly. 
looks like a tire. Yeah, it looks like a tail. I don't know. Maybe it's a tire. What do we know? Just keep your eye on the left because you always want to be weary when you're a little close to the uh, to the area. Go We're not. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, that's a very large tail. <laughs> We're not going to get very close at all. Oh my goodness. This is a little sketchy. <laughs> oh my word. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, we are definitely zoomed in, but we gotta go this way. Oh my goodness! Look at this thing. No, I'm not running. I'm not running. I think we might have to turn around. We just looked over and it's just, I've never seen it like this. There's a bunch of those white birds. They're all like lined up on the bank. And we're kind of making the joke that we think they're all waiting patiently to see what that very large gator is gonna do. And there's another one, yes, right straight ahead out on that island. I can't really, you can't really see it that well because of the trees, but they are all over the place now. I thought this was something to, to show you guys, kind of cool. It's an orange tree, as far as I can tell. It looks like an orange tree, or maybe some sort of citrus. I'm not really sure, but because this used to be a cattle ranch. So obviously they must have also done, uh, like have an orange grove as well. And I think there's another one behind it on the left there, but I just thought that was kind of cool. Right out in the wild. Isn't that crazy? Now I have a hunker in for some orange juice. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here at Circle B Reserve. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to be able to show you as many gators as we did. We got to see a raccoon. We got to see a bird. So I really, really want you guys, if you're ever in the Lakeland area, to come down and check this out. It's, it's free, family fun. It really is. And you can see a bunch of cool animals. Go for a nice uh, hike. Get some fresh air, take pictures, take videos like we did today. But uh, thank you so much for watching the channel, and uh, we hope you consider subscribing, hitting that like button. We call it booping. So hopefully you'll do that and uh, come join us from you know some more adventures here in Disney, Universal, and everywhere else around Florida and anywhere we find that is fun for you guys and for us as well. So make sure you maybe watch one of these videos that's going to be coming up in the end. But until we see you next time, remember. Only one way to live. In the moment with a bunch of gators. Woo!